This is Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Brazil is a country that needs little introduction. It's a world-renowned tourist destination. It's famous for its beaches, its diverse uh, natural attractions, its uh, rich culture, events such as carnival and sports. Six and a half million visitors came to Brazil in 2016, which is a 4% growth uh, from 2015. Two-thirds of all visitors uh, come to Brazil from other countries in Americas. One-third uh, of all visitors uh, come from Argentina. Rio de Janeiro is a major tourism center for foreign visitors. It is a port of entry or departure for many visitors. It is a very scenic city and home to iconic tourist sites, Copacabana and Ipanema beaches, Statue of Christ the Redeemer, Sugarloaf Mountain, Samba Drone, Maracana Stadium, and the list can go on. However, besides the positive destination uh, image through the uh, attractions that I uh, just listed, uh, there is also a negative perception of Brazil. Contemporary Brazil is known for being dangerous, corrupt, overrun by criminals, having big differences between social classes and having a political crisis. And that is uh, stemmed from uh, negative news uh, that uh, we often get about Brazil. In part, the image of Brazil as a dangerous place is supported by some of the famous films that focus on Brazil's social issues, such as City of God and Elite Squad. When I was mentioning uh, to people that I will be going to Brazil, some of them said, oh, you better be careful because uh, of uh, the perceived safety and security risks. In Salvador, in the northeastern state of Bahia, tourists are advised not to walk around the historic city center at night and take taxi even for short distances when going to places outside of major tourist attractions. In Rio de Janeiro, similarly, I was advised which areas I can and cannot go. In Rio de Janeiro, uh, currently, uh, police and military are trying to control the levels of crime. But uh, actually, the crime, criminal uh, activities uh, are a symptom of underlying problems that have been uh, going in Brazil for quite a long time. Currently, uh, Brazil is in a state of a political crisis. There will be elections later this year, and the most uh, popular candidate for president is uh, actually currently in prison. That's uh, former President Lula. The ongoing social class divide can be, uh, to some extent, attributed to the history of slavery and plantation economy. In such an environment, when you always need to be on alert, it might be difficult to relax and enjoy a holiday. Actually, I don't know how dangerous it really is here in Brazil, but perceptions are important in tourism. Safety and security risks are considered one of the major deterrent uh, for visitors from visiting a particular destination. And so some tourists decide to stay at the resorts protected uh, in the tourist bubble, and others try to learn more by, for example, joining a favela tour. They want to see the slums and understand the conditions uh, of people who live there. However, I was advised by a tour guide that uh, now is probably not the best time to visit a favela in Rio de Janeiro. As uh, one of the famous uh, tourism academics uh, says, a good place to live is a good place to visit. So I hope uh, that the political and socio-economic situation in Brazil becomes better soon for the benefit of Brazilians and visitors.